In this video, we are discussing high CPU or disk usage by ntlskrnl.exe on Windows 10. Several users have complained on Reddit and other Windows forums about memory leaks related to ntoskernel.exe. These users have reported extensive RAM and CPU usage brought by the system file or related to it. Those with extreme cases have said that they have experienced blue screens of death brought about by memory dumps. In this video, we will tell you how memory management works on Windows and what ntoskernel.exe is and what it does will then give you reasons as to why ntoskernel.exe consume a lot of memory space and the remedy to this. First of all, what is ntoskernel.exe and when, what does it do? Windows 10 is a large operating system, but how does it handle memory operations so well? This can be owed to the ntoskernel.exe memory handler this NTOS kernel.exe, which is short for Windows NT Operating System Kernel, otherwise known as Kernel Image, is a system application file that provides the kernel and executive layers of the Windows NT kernel space and is responsible for various system services such as hardware virtualization, process and memory management, and thus it makes a fundamental part for the system. It contains the cache manager the executive, the kernel, the security reference monitor, the memory manager, and the scheduler. That is why NTOS kernel.exe is such a protective system file. The system protection means it will not easily get deleted or corrupted. So this is how memory management works. A task is loaded to the memory along with the program that will execute this task. This is the fetch part. The CPU decodes it executes the task and records the results to the memory which might later get recorded to the disk by the loaded program. The execution part will have access to several devices including GPU, CPU, disk space, ROM, hard drive or SSD, network devices and many more devices depending on the task being executed. When the program is closed, it is unloaded from the memory along with the data it was processing. The space is now freed for use by other tasks. Next, we are going to discuss reasons why NTOS kernel.exe consumes a lot of disk space, memory and CPU. If NTOS kernel.exe manages memory, then why does it consume all the memory and a whole lot of CPU? There are some known reasons to why this occurs. Several cases are usually caused by memory leaks caused by hardware and malware. The excessive memory consumption was built into Windows 10 unlike other operating systems. Microsoft has explained this severally. Following the release of Windows 10 build 10525, Microsoft had to say, that in Windows 10, we have added a new concept in the memory manager called a compression store, which is an in-memory collection of compressed pages. This means that when memory manager feels memory pressure, it will compress unused pages instead of writing them to the disk. This reduces the amount of memory use per process, allowing Windows 10 to maintain more application in physical memory at a time. This also helps provide better responsiveness across Windows 10. The compression store lives in the system process's working set. Since the system process holds the store in memory, its working set grows larger exactly when memory is being made available for other processes. This is visible in Task Manager and the reason the task process appears to be consuming more memory than previous releases. The large memory use is therefore kind of something Windows 10 has been built to do but can sometimes be mistaken as a memory leak. Windows 10 sacrifices memory in exchange for speed. Instead of writing pages into your hard drive, it compresses the pages to the RAM. This makes Windows 10 faster than previous versions because reading compressed data from the computer's RAM is faster than reading it from the hard drive than loading into the RAM. 
This had already been part of the Linux operating system before Windows adopted it. The more applications you open, the more memory will be used. This in turn means CPU usage will go up. There can be multiple and more reasons to the consumption of NTOS kernel, which can be bad or outdated device drivers on your computer or laptop, malware or viruses. There can be a corrupt NTOS kernel system file. Next, we'll discuss how we can fix excess memory usage caused by NTOS kernel.exe in Windows 10. If you have suddenly started experiencing memory leaks, then you might be a victim of malware or a virus. If your memory leaks begin after a Windows update or installation of a new device, it might be because of bad or outdated device drivers. Next, we are going to see how we can control this. First of all, we can repair corrupt system files. Download and run Reimage Plus to scan and restore corrupt and missing files. The link is given in video's description. Let's open the web page. Here's the exe. Click on this installation file to launch the installer. Installation is a pretty straightforward process. Once the software is installed, just click on scan to scan your computer. Once you find the uh, problems with the drivers or corrupted system files, once you find the results, you can proceed uh, with the appropriate step given at the end of the wizard. The next step, so as a first step, will update the drivers. Hold and press Windows and R key. Type hdwwiz.cpl, which is hardware wizard. So once you are in the hardware wizard, your graphic card network drivers might be the first bet for the cause of memory leak. This is also common in PCs using killer network drivers. So if we want to update our drivers, we'll expand the network adapters or the graphic card. Right click on the device and click on update drivers. When you click on it, select the search automatically for updated driver software option and proceed with the wizard. Once you're done, restart your PC and check if your problem is resolved. Our next step is to run anti-malware and anti-spyware applications to scan the system. It is a good practice to have malware scanners on your PC. We are going to show you that works well and is recommended. First of all, we'll download SpyBot. The link is given in video's description. Download the software, whichever suits you. Perform a scan from it and fix the problems it diagnoses. The next recommended malware scanner is Malwarebytes. The download link is given in video's description. Download malware bytes, scan your computer, install the software, scan your computer and fix all the arising issues. Once it is done, restart your computer and see if the problem is fixed. The, the, the third option is to disable Runtime Broker. Recent discussions on Reddit strongly suggest that Runtime Broker is one system process which often consumes a large portion of CPU cycles. Due to its poor memory optimization, this causes high CPU usage and memory leaks. This can be disabled by following the steps we are going to show you now. Go to Start menu and open Settings app. Go to System, Notification and Action. Here we need to deselect the option which says show me tips about windows 
or get tips, tricks and suggestions as these use windows. So we go down and turn this off. Now restart your computer and see if the problem is fixed. There is another way to stop the runtime broker. Open the notepad. Copy these values or write these values. Let me go word wrap. Click on file and click on save as. Let's save it on desktop and call it a name runtime broker dot reg save it run the file as administrator click on merge always um, here an important point to note is always take backup of your registry before making any changes to your registry file uh, open run window go to regedit Click on yes. Let me close all these nodes. Click on export. Name whatever you like. And click on save. Once it is done, run this file and then restart your computer. Once your computer is back online, check and see if the problem is resolved. It is recommended to always keep your anti-malware and anti-spyware up to date. Check for device drivers updates regularly. The device manufacturers continuously update their driver's definition to solve issues and improve functionality. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.